This is a video demonstration for installing the Transax Gateway QuickBooks module. To do the install correctly, we need to get a couple of things in order first. Uh, one, you need to be logged into the computer as an administrator. You need to be able to log in and out of QuickBooks as an administrator. And you need QuickBooks to be in single user mode. You can use the module in multi-user mode, but to do the install, it needs to be in single user. Lastly, for Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8, you need to turn off user account controls. Those you can find on the control panel, which you see here. Click to System and Security, and then select the option Change User Account Control Settings. That's a slide bar, which will by default be up around this third notch. You need to slide that all the way down to Never Notify. Uh, that will allow the module and QuickBooks to, communi to communicate uh, correctly. Uh, next, we'll need to log into the gateway in order to get the module. You see the login screen here. We'll click Continue. And then once we're logged in, we're going to go to the Modules setting where you will see the QuickBooks Payment add-on. There's a button here to download the QuickBooks module. If you go ahead and click that, you will see that uh, you get a zip file that first you'll need to right click on and extract the files. Once you have the installer extracted, you'll right click on the installer and select to run as an administrator. Again, right click on the installer and select to run as an administrator. Then uh, from there on out, you're installing the module just like you'd install any other program. You'll have a couple of options, for instance, where you want the files to go, uh, you know, which folders you're going to have, the names associated with it. Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, select the choices as you see fit. One of the options is who can access the application. I recommend selecting anyone who uses this computer. While that is installing, we'll go back over to the gateway where we'll need to get our transaction API key. You'll see that here again on the QuickBooks page, which is under the modules, QuickBooks payment add-on. The tile says transaction API key. This long number here, you'll need to copy and save so that you can plug it into QuickBooks in just a couple of minutes. We'll notice here that our install has completed. The checkbox is checked to launch Transax QB. You do need to leave that checked off. There's a finishing process that is important for the install to work, work correctly. So just leave that checked and click the button to finish your install. Next, we need to actually attach the module to QuickBooks, and to do that, we're going to run QuickBooks. Again, the uh, QuickBooks should have been closed while we were doing the install. Here, we're going to open it by right-clicking on QuickBooks and running as an administrator. It's the same thing that we did for the installer itself, and it's just for this one-time process as part of the install. Uh, once you have the uh, QuickBooks open, you'll need to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be presented with a security certificate which shows that Transax is trying to attach itself to QuickBooks, attach itself to this company file specifically, uh, and you want to say yes whenever this company file is open, and check the box that allows this application to access personal data such as credit card information. Click continue. You'll need to again confirm that Transax can have access, and then you'll click done. Now the module is installed and attached to QuickBooks correctly, but since QuickBooks was run as an administrator, we do need to close that and then reopen QuickBooks normally in order to use it correctly. So we'll go ahead and enter our password one more time. And it helps if you do enter the password correctly. And since I've done that, now we'll be able to proceed on with the install process, such as applying our credentials for Transax Gateway. You'll see the module is under the Customers menu. Select uh, Customers, and then Transax, and click on the option of Setup, where you will enter your credentials. This is pretty much uh, something you'll only do one time. You have a username, a password, and account number that are credentials for your account, and then also the secret key uh, which is the transaction API key we looked at earlier. Once you have all of those credentials uh, entered correctly, just click the button to update, and it will tell you that your update is completed. If the credentials are not right, there will be an error that says that they're not right, and you'll have the opportunity to correct them so that you can proceed. 
And at that point in time, the module is installed and ready for use. You can begin to process payments, uh, run batches, uh, sync transactions from other sources, whatever it is that you need to do. For more information about Transax uh, QB or the install process and any other features of the Transax Gateway, please contact your Transax Gateway sales representative.